You saw it. You saw it right. And I mean what I said. Green tip ammo. This stuff right here. Yeah, it sucks. But before we get into why it sucks, make sure you get in there and smack that subscribe button. Because Pew Brothers has got more stuff coming to you. So I want to cover three things today. The M855's use, its cost, and its effectiveness. Now, a lot of people are using this as armor-piercing rounds. When in fact, the United States Code says the following. 18 United States Code 921, subsection 17, A through C. The term ammunition means ammunition or cartridge, cases, primers, bullets, or propellant powder designed for use in any firearm. I'm not going to insult your intelligence but continue reading this, but if you'll scroll down with me to subsection 2 of bullet point B, a fully jacketed projectile larger than a 22 caliber designed and intended for use in a handgun and whose jacket has a weight of more than 25% of the total weight of the projectile. So we see here the United States Code also giving way to the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, does not consider the M855 to be an armor-piercing round. So the chances are that if you own one of these, you're looking for ammo. We've posted about ammo and how to fight the good fight, the stamina you need to be able to keep up in the ammo grab of 2020, but some of you are kind of going off the reels and. That's the reason why I wanted to address the green tip issue. Green tip. M855. This is by Winchester. 200 round count. We'll talk about the price and the stuff later. M855 as we know it today came to us in the early 1970s as the United States military was participating with NATO to create a standardized armored piercing round. <clears throat> what we came up with was the SS-109 which the United States adopted as the M855 in the early 1980s. Now, the first thing I'm gonna debunk right here, the round is not armor piercing. In fact, NATO designed it so that it was able to penetrate a steel helmet, not body armor. Now, we, what we do find is this is a copper jacketed round with a steel core, not a steel nose not a steel nose. And for the last 40 years, the M855 has continued its role with the military until recently, we see the United States military has began adopting the uh, next generation of armor piercing, if you would, the EPR, the Advanced Performance Round. This is for another video. Yeah, another video. All right, now that we've accomplished a backstory of what the M855 is, and we know it today as green tips, which is just a color coding system that many manufacturers use, whether it be red, blue, whatever, black, to designate what that round is particularly to be used for. So the second thing we're just gonna go ahead and jump into is cost. If you are out there looking for M855, chances are you're paying anywhere between 75 cent and up. And when I mean up, like the ceiling does not even surprise me right now. I've seen prices as high as 325 a shot. I've recently priced it on cheaper than dirt for just under $2 a shot. For example, the M855 Winchester that I showed you earlier in the video, cheaper than dirt has the same ammunition in stock for $399.89. That is $1.99 a shot, 200 rounds. I paid 47 cent. 47 cent a shot for this at my local academy. But what I am saying is that this is definitely and most evidently the truest form of supply and demand we can find. The round doesn't do anything extraordinary. It doesn't have any proprietary characteristics on the market. It has its demand in hype alone. Conversely, if we look at other bulk mil surplus or, or military-like ammunition, the M193, the price on that is nearly half of that for what we see on Cheaper Than Dirt. And I know Cheaper Than Dirt's not the best place to compare ammo prices, so since I was on the site, I went apples to apples. We did find M193 on Cheaper Than Dirt, and though it was higher than what we're normally seeing it at, it was still $1.24 a shot. Significantly cheaper than the M855. And again, if you're looking for hunting, self-defense, whatever the case may be, 
You're going to want something that has a soft nose so that jacket expands. It's a full metal jacket. It's intended to stay together all the way through. There's going to be no expansion of that projectile to give you greater cavitation. Do yourself a favor and find out what ammunition you need to accomplish the mission that you've set out for. So if you're trying to do home defense or self-defense stuff, quick search of the internet, I found Lucky Gunner had Spear Gold Dot 75 grain, big juicy bullet, right? Big juicy hard hitting bullet, 223, $30 for 20 rounds. Yeah, it's a dollar fifty a shot, but it's a dollar fifty a shot for a capable round. It actually does something. I went out today and probably burned, I don't know, 30, 60 rounds, something like that, of green tip punching paper. Because that's what it's good for. I didn't really think that it stood apart that much in comparison to its peers, but to be honest with you, the only reason I'm holding on to it is for future trading. I would much rather have the M193, especially for the price difference. Let's look at some of the effectiveness. All right, in summary, when addressing the effectiveness of the M855, I'm going to leave this chart here as it speaks to velocity and it speaks to groupings and other things when it comes to collecting data. This isn't necessarily my, my purview, but the articles that I found that supported the evidence behind the accuracy, effectiveness, and the reliability of this round provide great insight to uh, kind of how underperforming the round is. So find those links in the description. Guys, thanks for watching today's video. Please don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, plink responsibly.